everybody. This is Corey with Aspen Grove Studios, and today I'm going to give you a uh, overview uh, tutorial of how to manually install WordPress using your uh, your cPanel. And kind of as a as a basis for this tutorial, um, I've created this uh, WordPress installation cheat sheet, which I'm also going to include as a PDF uh, download in the blog post. And uh, you can see this uh, cheat sheet here. Kind of walks you through the the steps. Uh, provide some links that you'll use uh, to download WordPress, generate salt keys, and uh, this is probably something that you'll uh, want to keep handy for, for every one of your uh, manual WordPress installations. So um, I'm going to show you my method of how to manually install WordPress. I know um, you know different people might have different ways they do it. Uh, this is the way that I've done it uh, for the past couple of years. I've probably manually installed installed WordPress uh, a couple hundred times in the past uh, six months already so I do it quite often it comes like second nature to me but uh, hopefully this tutorial will help you uh, feel more comfortable with it and uh, we'll, we'll get you on your way to uh, to manually installing WordPress instead of using the uh, the automated uh, in installers which some hosts provide um, those are fine to use. Uh, sometimes they, they get a little messy and throw in extra plugins and themes and things like that. So uh, Aspen Grove Studios, we just prefer to do it this way. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, jump into the cPanel and I'll uh, show you how to get started here. Okay, uh, so here we are uh, logged into our uh, hosting cPanel. And uh, depending on who your, your host is, uh, this might look a little bit different. Some hosts use uh, different icons and they're kind of like laid out in different places. Uh, at Aspen Grove Studios, we use A2 Hosting. And uh, this is what their cPanel looks like using their uh, X3 uh, theme. So, uh, so the first step we're gonna do is, uh, is upload the, um, the WordPress zip file that we downloaded from uh, wordpress.org. And on our uh, cheat sheet, you can see it takes you to uh, to WordPress.org, and you just download that that zip file, which which I've already done, uh, so I'm not going to do that right now. But let's uh, let's jump into our file manager. And uh, at this point, I'm assuming that you've already either um, included in an add-on domain or uh, created a subdomain um, for your WordPress installation. So you can see here, um, I've created the subdomain WordPress install, which I'll use uh, for this tutorial. So let's, uh, let's jump into, uh, into that uh, document here, the document root. Okay, and uh, this is a completely uh, blank document root here. And so what we're gonna do is upload um, the WordPress zip that we downloaded. And I've got that here, the most recent version of WordPress. And uh, that's that's a that's a pretty small file. So depending on your internet speed, this should only take a you know 20, 30 seconds um, around there to to upload. Okay, and that's complete. Let's uh, let's go back to uh, to here. And you can see now that we have the WordPress uh, zip, and we're going to want to um, extract that. Okay, reload. And you can see here we have our uh, extracted folder and the, uh, the zip file. Let's go ahead, uh, just for the sake of keeping things uh, tidy, uh, delete that zip file. And so now we've got this uh, WordPress folder. And what we need to do is jump into that. And we need to move all these files uh, back to the document root. And so for that, we're gonna select all, uh, just push that select all button and move file. And we're just gonna remove the WordPress tail. So that, that'll move it out of that folder uh, into the root uh, of, of this document here. Okay, go up one level. And you can see now that uh, all of the, uh, the WordPress files are, are in the root. Um, okay, so so from this point on, really the, the only file that we're going to be touching is the, uh, the wp-config file. Um, but first, uh, we're going to jump over to our uh, MySQL database wizard, and we're going to create a, uh, a database and a database user, which will then come, come back over here and, and plug into the, uh, the wp-config. So 
uh, let's go ahead and, uh, and jump over to the uh, MySQL database wizard. Okay, uh, so here we are um, back on our cPanel dashboard and uh, we're going to locate the, uh, the MySQL database wizard. Click on that and uh, from here it's going to prompt you to um, create a, a new database. Um, so here, here it'll uh, populate your uh, database prefix uh, that you have selected with your host and so that'll show up there. So what we're going to do is, is be, um, be putting in the, um, the database uh, suffix here and uh, what I usually do for this is um, I uh, ahead of time just create uh, the suffix uh, on my notepad and then I'll just uh, copy that and paste it here. Uh, so there's our database name. Here is our um, database username, which we'll put in there, and then um, and then uh, let me change that because I had another uh, version with that with that one in there. So let's just change that up a little bit. Um, so for the password, I, I usually use the um, the password generator, and uh, just click on that, and it'll give you a nice and secure password that you want to copy. Tick the box that says that you have copied it. Use that password, and then I uh, I'll just paste that back in here on our notepad. So here um, I, I have uh, everything needed um, for when we go back to our WP config file. Okay, so now that that's all um, included in here, I'm gonna hit uh, create user and tick the box all privileges, hit next step, and our uh, database has been uh, successfully created and it'll uh, show you the information right here. So let's go ahead and we'll uh, jump back over to our, um, to our WP config file and I'll show you um, where to put this database information in and also run over um, some other final steps for the uh, for the WordPress installation. Okay, uh, so here we are back in our um, our subdomains um, directory root and uh, the file that we're going to be working with here is the uh, WP config um, sample. Oops. And uh, so what I usually do is just uh, go in through the code editor, hit edit, and, uh, and now it'll, it'll bring up uh, all the areas that, that you're going to need to edit here. Um, so let's first um, go over here, and, and, and this is still up uh, from when I created the, uh, created the database. Um, I, I usually just leave this up or, or I can refer back uh, to, my, to my notepad, but uh, this is just the way that I usually do it for whatever reason. Um, so copy the uh, the database name, paste it in here, and then we're going to get the uh, the username. Paste that in here, and the password that I have uh, on our notepad. Put that there. Okay, and the uh, the next step is the uh, the salt keys, and um, this is it's very important to change out the uh, the default salt keys on your uh, WordPress installation to keep it secure. Uh, you, you can do a little bit of uh, research on salt keys and and uh, learn more about the uh, the importance of them. Um, but I have them in our uh, cheat sheet that I'm providing. Um, created a uh, a direct link to the uh, salt key generator which you uh, you click on here okay and uh, it'll bring this up this is a, a WordPress API and it'll bring up the uh, the salt keys and uh, yes this is secure it, it just generates the uh, the random salt keys uh, you can see when you refresh it'll it'll change those up every time so we want to copy those and then uh, head over here to our WP config Paste those in there, and so now our uh, config file is set. We're going to save that. Okay, uh, one important step that you want to do is you can see here that it's named uh, wp-config-sample.php, 
and we want to rename this and we're just going to take out the uh, dash sample. So this is, uh, this is how it should look here, just wp-config.php, hit rename file. And uh, now that that's done, um, we can jump back over to our, uh, to our cheat sheet. And you can see here that uh, I have links to the uh, install script. And um, for, for the most part, you're going to use this first link here. Um, you can see for the second link is if you've placed the WordPress files in a subdirectory called blog. Um, then you, sh you should visit this uh, the second link here. But uh, for the most part, um, you're, you're probably just going to be clicking on this uh, first link. Okay, so that's going to bring that's going to bring up uh, this screen here um, to run the installation script, and you want to change out the example.com with your uh, subdomain or domain that you're doing the installation on. So here we're going to change this to um, WordPress install dot aspen growth studios dot space and uh, just check that make sure you have the uh, the URL in there properly okay and after you've done that um, hit return and you're gonna be um, brought here to, to this screen where you will uh, select your your language and I'm going to, because I speak English here in the United States, um, select English, United States, continue. And um, here it'll ask you for the site title, username, uh, email. And uh, so let's, uh, let's just call this um, WordPress Tut. Um, put in your uh, username that you want to put in here. I'm just going to create a username. WordPress Tut. We'll go ahead and just use um, use this default password here that that generated, and then put in your um, your email address. Okay, and if this is a site that you're going to be working on and you don't want the uh, the search engines to uh, to index it immediately, then you want to tick this box. That'll hide it from the um, from search engines. So while you're working on it, you don't get a bunch of lower MIPSUM and, and weird stuff uh, indexing with Google and Bing. Okay, so now that that's all um, filled in, let's go ahead and install WordPress. Okay, and uh, and that's all that's all uh, done there. So the next step, you just uh, you just go and you log in. I copied my password there. Okay, and that is it. You can see here you have a nice uh, clean install of, of WordPress uh, done manually. Um, unlike using some of the scripts that the hosts provide, um, like Mojo or uh, Softaculous, you're not going to have a bunch of the um, you know plugins that they cram in there. Some even put in themes and stuff. This is just a really bare bones um, WordPress installation. So uh, if you have any questions, um, please leave a comment. Uh, on the video below or in the blog post and you can always uh, feel free to email us as well uh, if you have any further questions at support at aspengrovestudios.com so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you find it helpful and we'll talk to you soon